Thank you uh, for coming all the way from all over the world, and very warm welcome, warm welcome uh, to you all. WACAID marks the 30th anniversary of the birth of the World Archaeological Congress. The circumstances surrounding this, I should say, historic and historical event were as complex and indeed complicated with lots of human dramas as any historical event is. But I should like to emphasize the fact that the event took place when a social formation called modernity was shifting from a phase which can be probably described as the early modernity to that which can be called the, if you wish, late, mature, or even post-modernity. The late modern social formation has constantly been generating new daunting challenges to entire humanity, and of course, to us archaeologists. Those challenges predominantly include post-colonial challenges, that we are all well aware, as far as we are the members of the WAC, I believe, and various other challenges, obviously caused by globalization. Since its foundation, the World Archaeological Congress has been proactively confronting with those intrinsic problems or, I dare say, ills of late modernity by adopting a cause, setting up projects, schemes, and committees, and reacting to various incidents, those ills, diseases of late modernity caused, including the infringement of indigenous rights and the destruction of heritages in conflicts on the spot by issuing various statements, position papers, and I would like to remind you that um, we just issued a comment to the uh, latest World Bank policy draft in a big way all of which you can find on our website. As the sixth president of the World Archaeological Congress, I thought that reflecting on our successes and, to be honest with you, failures with the representatives of the world archaeological learned communities and organizations, and sharing our thoughts together for our future collaborations would be one of the most fitting ways to celebrate this anniversary coinciding the work 8 Kyoto 2016. And I am extremely genuinely extremely pleased and indeed honored that those who will share the podium with me today representing Society of Argentinian Anthropology, the International Union of Prehistoric and Protohistoric Sciences, European Association of Archaeologists. Incidentally, they are just about to start their annual uh, conference in Vilnius, uh, and uh, we uh, uh, sent a mutual note of uh, apology for this data crash and any inconvenience caused to our colleagues, and Society for American Archaeology, and Pan-African Archaeological Association, and finally, Indo-Pacific Prehistoric Association. 
uh, all of them willingly agreed to take part and involved in uh, drafting of a statement, the dealings of which I shall propose to you uh, in a moment. I shall ask them to talk for about 10 minutes, very short, but uh, time constraint forces me uh, to, to be very uh, imposing, uh, uh, each about what has happened to their organizations or communities in these 30 years, particularly in relation to WAC, and share with us their thoughts on and hopes for our future collaborations and for the, indeed, future of archaeologists. At the end, we will jointly uh, come up with a statement uh, uh, which, with your approval, will be submitted to the final plenary of WAC8 to take place on the 2nd of September as a uh, a resolution statement to be adopted. And if the uh, final uh, plenary uh, adopts it, uh, it will be uh, perhaps through the council uh, consideration and maybe upgraded to something else, obviously uh, in consultation with uh, our uh, fellow learned um, uh, communities. So at this point, uh, it is a uh, open decision for us how to deal with it. But at the end, what has happened is I will ask you to approve us, the panelists, to submit it as a resolution to the final plenary for you again uh, to discuss. And I hope you unanimously adopt as a resolution statement. So now, I would like to uh, invite our first speaker, uh, Professor Monica Beron, uh, President of the Society of Argentinian Anthropology, to the uh, podium. Monica. Thank you. 